Hello Taurus, this is your March overall guidance for the month. We will be taking a look at your overall energy, um, some love and some career energy as well. We'll get Oracle guidance and we will begin by getting three cards for each aspect. Let's start with your overall energy Taurus and this is going to be for Taurus Sun Moon Rising Signs. What is your overall energy for the month of March? We have the death card, overall energy for March. And then for love, let's get a card. For love, you have the King of Cups, Taurus. And for career, we have the Eight of Cups for career. Okay. Oops. So. Let us clarify. Let's clarify our overall energy. We have the death card. So in March, there could be a shift or a change in circumstance. Let's see. Definitely some kind of unexpected change um, or something that may have been long coming. Could be something to do with love. Wow, but what it's really telling me is that whatever this um, transformation shift or change is, it's actually something that's meant to happen for you, something that will put things in the right place and eventually give you that happiness that you're seeking. But let's let's take a little more of a deeper look and see what else we need to know about this overall energy. And we have disharmony triggers and conflict to start. What else do we have for Taurus? Okay, so whatever you harvested in the autumn season last year, you could be reaping within March. A lot of energy for your overall energy. Um, a lot of healing could be taking place. There, there may have been some disharmony triggers, some um, energy of lack or suffering that you dealt with, but this is currently something that's being healed. And with that renewal spark card, it's kind of a very positive way of telling you that um, things are getting better for you. And with the way that we saw that initial clarification there, things are definitely going to get you to a place of happiness, one that you've been wanting to have. So that seems to be the overall energy for, for you. But let's take a look at your um, love energy with this King of Cups. You know, I feel like you may have been very committed, very loyal um, to someone. I feel like this is your energy. So you could have water in your chart, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, but it looks to me like you're trying, you could potentially be thinking about releasing this because it's no longer bringing you or giving you the, the fulfillment that you're looking for. So let's take a closer look. Oh my, okay. We have transformation, which we were just talking about. So this is the area where um, things could actually be transforming for you, Taurus. Um, we have offer, we have third eye clarity, and we have limitations and fears. So when it comes to your love energy, there is some kind of situation that I think you're thinking of releasing. I think you're, I think you're going to let go of this. You've been emotionally invested. You've been committed to it. But I do feel that... You may be feeling limited in whatever this this connection is that you want i feel like you want more for yourself taurus i feel like maybe you yourself feel that you have a lack and you want to be in a better place to be able to make an offer as well i'm also getting that dynamic here but definitely there's a recognition of you heavily contemplating and considering what you think is best, at least in March, from what I'm seeing. So let's take a look at your career. There's the Eight of Cups in career here. What is the Eight of Cups? So there's been a situation that's been disappointing 
for you. I feel like you're thinking of also walking away from whatever that is. It feels like you feel that there's not much uh, more that you could be doing in this career energy. So whether that's career, business, uh, passion project, creative pursuit, it feels like you've been thinking heavily about walking away from a situation B just because I feel that um, you either feel there's nothing left to give or that you've already given everything that you could to it. Okay, so let's let's get a little more energy for you when it comes to career. Yeah, heavily making decisions at this time, really at a crossroads as to what to do with your career. So I, I, I kind of feel like you're really heavily thinking about um, the changes that you're making. I feel even in the career aspect, this is all a transformation that you're going through that even your career is, is something that will be affected by this transformation. I feel like you're at this crossroads because you're reassessing where you are even when it comes to your career. There's a need for you, Taurus, to really look at where you are when it comes to your career energy. There's something about how you could have felt like this is what you wanted, and now that you're at a crossroads, now that you're going through a transformation, whatever that is, is not exactly fitting into the new narrative that you have. So I feel like there's a lot of thinking that needs to go on, more thinking, um, not necessarily action, at least in March, not yet, from what I'm getting here. So let, let's get some oracle guidance for you when it comes to career course. Okay. All right. What is your guidance in career, Taurus? Pride. Okay. There is something about how I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Make sure your decisions aren't stemming from pride. Um, make sure that, you know, you're looking, yeah, like it's not through, you're not looking through rose-colored glasses, but you're looking at the situation um, with better perspective. Okay, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. This to me in this context means whatever decision you're making, it's meant for you to feel better, to feel lighter. This career aspect should not feel difficult. It should not feel heavy. And so there's a need to really assess if you're still happy where you are at. And if, if you, there's a sense of struggle from what I'm getting here, just because I think for the Taurus folks that will resonate with this, just that, just because I think that you're at this place right now where you feel like there's nothing more that you can or want to give. And if that's the case, then maybe this isn't a situation that you know you know you should stay in it's like you maybe you should think that you need to to think about the changes that you need to make along with the transformation that's going on in the other areas of your life right um let's get some oracle guidance for your love energy so it's saying forgive Okay, let's get another card. It's saying take a chance on them. There is something about needing to forgive, and I feel like this is directed at the other person. There's something about needing to forgive and um, taking another chance on this situation that you're in. I do feel though that if you feel limited, if you feel unfulfilled, and you know that the limitation is within you, then it's only right that you release this for now, just so that you could get into a better energy. But if you feel unhappy because of the limitation that's been set on you from this other person, then that may be why we have the forgiveness card as well. Okay, what is your overall guidance? Let's take a look at that. Overall guidance for Taurus. We've got clarity. Oh, clarity, strength, 
and financial health. So I think overall, Taurus, you are really being guided to take the time to assess, gain the clarity that you need. Um, there's something about paying attention to here for net financial health that's important as well. But through all this, I think what you're really trying to be told here is you have the strength to continue to persevere despite all these challenges that we're seeing for you right now. Um, the more that you gain clarity, the more that you actually will become stronger in your resolve to, to kind of make the changes that I think you want to make in your life at this time. So that's what I have for you, Taurus, and I will see you in April.